But right. we want to make sure that you know, we, like people that support us, we want to make sure we support them. And like we, like, and the thing with in our community, we we talk about the natives, but the natives got to understand we have to start circulating our our resources. So we have a platform here, and we have our friends that have their own businesses. Well, we got to support each other. So we want to start showcasing every single month someone we know with a business. If you making anything, jewelry, if you uh, spray painting stuff, please let us know. So we got our first person that answered the call. This is my sister. I've known her for a long, long, long time. She has a great product that I use every single day. People think my beard, I don't dye my beard, people. My beard is black. The sister gives me the natural juices and berries. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you taking, give me some, because it ain't oh, working over here. Yeah. Listen, oh, listen, yeah. I, I'm waiting for her to make a product to make my hair grow back. Once you get that, I'm straight. But this, Yo, is my grill. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sister Tia and her company. T.T. Butter. Uh, Jamie, can right. you bring in our sister Tia, please? Hey, Tia. Hey. How you, how you doing? <laughs> what up, sis? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Right. I'm Chilling good. I see some beards. I see y'all talking mad shit. I see some beards. <laughs> beards. <laughs> <laughs> the I got my on. Put your boys on. You better tell yeah, listen, them. Listen, listen, listen. I tell them. Like, I'm, I'm for real with it. I, I really do have my butters there. I ain't playing no games, man. I treat my face every day. Yeah, I treat my yeah. face every day. Every day I treat my face. Love you too. Love you too. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about your business, Tia. What you got for us? All right. TT's uh, Butter Company started in about 2016. Um, I started the line to help my nephews with their eczema. And so my first product was Bubba Butter. Uh, and because I call my nephews Bubba, that was their body butter, right? So Bubba Butter is a cult favorite. If you've got extremely dry skin, eczema or psoriasis of the scalp, you have it on your neck, your back, wherever, Bubba is going to help you. And I'm telling you, it's it's magical. Um, it helps with ashy elbows. Uh, ashy elbows. And for the guys, I've got a machismo butter because, you know, men feel some kind of way about wanting to put on lotion. So y'all out here using Vaseline. Oh hell no. No, no. No, okay. no, 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 we have the men's line, uh, which is the Beard Collective. It has a beard oil, beard wash, beard balm, and Mosh Chismo body butter. Mosh Chismo smells similar to the men's beard care products, so a lot of guys like it. It's light enough that it's not go going to conflict with your cologne, so you can layer. That's one of those things that a lot of women do. We layer our scent. And so our body butter is going to smell different from our perfume, and it, and it works the same way with men. Your body butter will smell different than your cologne, but it's all going to layer and it's going to linger. That's what you really want. And so for guys, you know, that that beard balm, that wash, that oil, it's essential to do it every day. And Damon, he'll tell you, you know, you have to start with it every day. Stop using your hair shampoo, your girl shampoo on your face. It wasn't developed for the uh, sensitive skin on your face is going to strip all the oils out of your face. And you're going to be around here with beard drift and you don't even know, mm. right? You didn't walked up on guys before and they've got beard drift. And it's like, yo, my man, you, something's in your beard right here. Get that, get that. And it's, and it's actually dandruff because the skin under your beard is dry. Wow, so, I thought it was Chinese. I thought it was Chinese food that was in his beard. It could be a little bit of, it could be a little bit of anything, right? It could yeah. be crust from all kinds of other stuff. So, hey, 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 that's hey, another hey. show. <laughs> that's another show. But no, for real. So you know, TT started with you know the idea of just helping my nephews with their eczema, and um, it just kind of birthed into all kinds of products. We've got the beard care line. We've got three body butters hair oil. Um, I have a detox cl uh, clay that you can use, yeah. below the bell oil called Sweet Spot, which is unisex, and it's for your sweet spot. We could talk about that. Um, we've got Lip Balm Sweet Spot. What, what do you mean Sweet Spot? Uh, what is Sweet Spot? Yeah, what do you mean Sweet Spot? I don't have a Sweet Spot. <laughs> oh, you got a Sweet Spot. Hey, don't, talk, don't nobody talk about no booty buttons. <laughs> 
No movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't know. I don't no, know. What's, 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 what's the sweet spot, though? Gentlemen, gentlemen, listen to me. So go for sweet it. Sweet spot is for everyone, right? Because we all work out. We're all in. For women, if we're working out, we're in Lycra for a couple of hours. Guys, you're in gym shorts, right? Everything might not be as breathable as we would like for it to be. And we'll get in a shower and we're washing and scrubbing and you think you got it all. But what you don't know is that when she puts her face down there, she can still smell the gym. Oh, wow. See, Derek, so, I told you. So, I told see, Derek, that's you. why you got a manscape. That's why you got a oh, manscape. You know what? Oh. I can learn something new every day, and, right? And, 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 get, and get and so, There's still something going on. There's some residue. There's still something going on up exactly. underneath. Like, so you you're saying... So you're saying a little, okay, okay, so you're saying there could be a, a right. little bit of a little bit of funk trapped in the creases. That <laughs> okay. okay. And so sweet spot is for the creases. That's so. Okay, okay there I got we go. it now. now I, I understand. It. I got it. Right. Got it. And so it's gonna smell different on everybody. Um, uh -huh. and that's just sweet spot, right? Right, right there up under that crease. That's the sweet spot. Okay, okay. all right. Sweet okay. spot. All right. All right. Let, okay. let me let me, let me ask you a question about the beards, right? You see yeah. Derek and D have full beards. Like, yeah. I have a very close beard. I can still use the beard butter for mine, even Absolutely. though it's not that heavy? Absolutely. It's okay. it's developed. My father wears a goatee. Okay. And like a mustache. Me. Yeah. He okay. has a goatee and a mustache just right here. Okay. And he uses it. Okay, good, good, let, good. Let me ask you this question. Are we just um, damaging our skin and don't realize it? I Like, for instance, we go to the barber shop. I know I do. After I, they'll, they'll shave me, they'll spray alcohol, and I heard that's terrible for your skin. Is that is that accurate? Um, I guess it dries it out. Very accurate. It dries it out. A lot of our products, because we're not flipping the label over, flipping that bottle over, reading the label, um, that was the other reason why I developed the products, because when I decided to go to a plant-based uh, eating life, you know, that's just my whole life is just plants. Every time I picked up something, a product, I'm reading the back of it. It's got a bunch of stuff in it I couldn't recognize. Mm -hmm. Alcohol is a main offender in a lot of our products because it helps a number of things. It helps oils and waters kind of blend together, right? So you'll find alcohol in a lot of things that you wouldn't think is necessary it will dry your skin out. And so a lot of guys going to the barbershop, you're getting that, that tape right here. Mm -hmm. He hit me with the razor. He's, you're getting razor burn, right? right? And you'll see a guy with razor burn, it's darker up here than it is closer to his hairline. That's mm -hmm. the razor burn. So you want to treat that. You've got to get a butter on your face. Mm -hmm. Got to get off okay. the alcohol. It's good to for an astringent to clean it out. But you don't want to hit yourself with that alcohol every day and not be replenishing those oils. Mm -hmm. So TT's line, TT's line will help you guys with all of that. And it's okay. It's so I mean, it's you can't look at taking care of yourself and your skin as being feminine, right? Uh -huh. Everyone has to take care of their skin. Your skin is your largest organ. And okay. for us, you know, as melanated people, we've got to do, we've got to go the extra mile. For sure. Okay. So TT's is for you. I got something for everybody. Yeah, you got you got products for facials and stuff too. Absolutely. TT's okay. uh, detox clay that'll help you with your facial. Okay. You got, you got bath yeah. stuff, all kind of stuff on the way. TT's. What can people find you at? TT's www.tetesbutterco.com. TT's Butter Co. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. You can find me online. You can I ship. I'm I do a lot of shipping to New York. Yep. Yeah. Well, All you right. know you ship to me. So and, and, listen, and guys, and guys, I gotta say also with a product, it does make your bed women guys gotta understand it makes your bed softer. So when you're hugging yes. your lady and stuff like that, so it is it's softer. It does smell real good. I put it on every day. I shower every single that's why I wash my face with our product. All I use, I don't use no that's soap on my face. Definitely, that's the other piece. You want that beard hair to soften up. Mm -hmm. You want it to push out of the skin. You don't want it to curl back. So um, you have to exfoliate, gentlemen, underneath here, those razor bumps. Your skin's getting dry. That razor is cutting you up. You definitely want to be exfoliating your skin. So it's a. I have a whole product line to help you all with that. Okay. But definitely, she won't tell you, or maybe she will. It's rough on her thighs, and she doesn't like it. So yeah, get you. Yo, hey. 
Yeah. It's a children's yeah. show. It's a children's show. <laughs> Whoa. Get that TT. TT's to help you out with it. You don't want those. Whoa, we don't want that problem. Yeah, we gonna go to TT. You don't want those problems. No, no, yeah. no problem. Tia, yeah, yeah. thank you so much for coming on. Thank you I for love having you, me. Thank Anybody? you. I love you too. I love you, Tia. Sister. Look, Tia, Tia, look for my order. I'm gonna order some. It's coming. Gotcha. Mine too. It's coming. I, I, I tell all the brothers and brothers, especially the brothers. I know sisters gonna get our products. She had great women friends, but I'm telling you, brothers, the product of the truth. I'm telling you now. I love Thank that. you. All right, TT. Thank you. Later, Thank baby. You. Right. Love Thank you, girl. Love you too, guys. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's oh, what I'm saying. I moved up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I thought Jamie promoted me for a minute. <laughs> Yo, so you saw you put me big on the screen. I said, oh, shit, I got a raise. <laughs> so we have, we, we have another person coming on today. And Derek, can you bring this person on for us? Oh, yeah. This is um, <laughs> um one of the, uh, this is an incredible person. No, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. This is an incredible person. All right. I want y'all to come out and, and enjoy. She's, she's often in the comments. Uh uh, during the show, and she is an amazing, amazing businesswoman, amazing person, and an amazing uh, cake decorator. And uh, she's very close to me. Her name is Norette Baysmore, Bella Latina Cakes. Wow. My wife. Right, she, all right, all right. Yo, that Hennessy cake is gonna sell out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yo, amazing stuff yeah. there. Amazing the, stuff. Very impressive. Those are hot. The, 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 the natives love Hennessy. Yeah, they love it. Oh, yeah. she do a white Hennessy cake. You'll be she'll be a millionaire in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> She should make a white Hennessy cake says duty free. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, she does oh, some stuff man. there that amazes me, man. You know, so um, wow. so, yeah, I'm hoping, you know, that's not the end of my she's a wonderful person, wonderful wife, of course, and I'm very blessed and lucky. Beautiful. Yes, Derek. Let's, Derek. Let's bring her on. Let's bring her on. Yeah, waiting on her. Yeah, there we go. Hey, honey. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hi, everybody. Can you see you? Good to see you. Yeah. How you doing? Thank you guys. Thank you so much for having me on tonight. No problem. Yeah, welcome, no problem. Welcome, 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 welcome. Let me ask you first question. What made you get into cake baking? Oh, gosh. I got into cake baking about 19 years ago. Mm. Um, I was living in another state, and um, I needed to make some extra money. And so, because I had a corporate gig, and I needed to make some extra money, so I kind of tapped into some some childhood memories because uh, my great grandparents had a bakery in Costa Rica. My mother, I grew up with my mother making custom cakes on the side. And so I said, oh, I could do this. So I thought. <laughs> and so, yeah, I started doing cakes and it didn't start off all that great, but you know, I've been in the game 19 years now. And so it's definitely gotten better. So you could probably do it in your sleep now. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I do do it in my sleep because I wake up like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen! I need, I, I need you to make a cake for Derek. Uh, it's gonna be uh -huh. a feet with, with uh, pedicure cake. You're gonna have a feet and a scraper and a, a, and a, a pumice stone. I want that one. That's what I want for Derek. Hey, make sure you about the pumice stone. I'm finding information out. There. <laughs> make sure you make the toenails real long. <laughs> That's not gonna be accurate because I hate to break it to you. My husband has better looking 
weeks than most women. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. Now, look how I sat back. Look how I sat back. Look how I sat back. You know, I sat back and I watched y'all give it to him, and I was like, look, if you ask me, I'm going to tell it. <laughs> I was let, me, let, me, let me ask you this question. I, um, From my perspective, I have to perform weddings every now and then. And it just mm -hmm. dawned on me one day, like, if I don't make it there, these people are not married. And any mistake could be so. I'm thinking about you with when you have a the, the pressure. What is the pressure like to come up with a cake that is so important to people's special event? Do you feel a certain pressure when you have to just nail it? You know, I feel pressure whether it's a wedding cake or it's you know a cake to feed six people. It you know because the thing about my job is you know how you can go to let's say your your day to day job and you know if you have a bad day your boss is not gonna really say anything right. you know okay I'm so tired or they had a rough week or whatever or something's going on I don't get that you know right. I have to be a hundred percent for every single person so if I'm putting fifteen cakes out a week I have to be on it fifteen right. times I don't right. you know I don't get to have a bad day so wow. whether it's a small or it's a big cake it's always pressure to bring my best self to that cake so that client can be wowed because their occasion is their occasion it may be a one-shot deal and, and it's important to them so it has right. to be equally as important to correct Absolutely. correct this is your brand your, your name your face is on this you have to stand by right. it. yeah let me Absolutely. ask you a question what's what's the strangest cake somebody's asked you to make the dairy cake dairy cake <laughs> Yo, Derry got a new okay. nickname. His name is Sugarfoot now. Sugarfoot or oh. AKA Sweet Toes. <laughs> 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 it's all love. It's all love. Uh -huh. It's all love. Uh -huh. it is. Oh, yeah. it's no, but what's the strangest, strangest cake you ever made? Oh goodness, I don't, I don't know because I have turned down cakes. You know, people okay. say, hey, "Will you make?" Cake? And I'm like, "No, I don't do that." <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't do that. Yeah, so, but. Um, I've done so many interesting things. You know, I love doing interesting things that I've never done before, like uh, a human heart, for example. Wow. Um, I did a human heart for a cardiologist at the Cohen's Children's Hospital out there by LIJ. Okay. Um, that surgeon happened to save the life of my client's seven-year-old daughter. Wow. So I, wow. Uh, I mean, that's that's that deep. Doctor. That's deep. Yeah. That's yeah. Deep. Yeah. That was... That was something else. I, you know, I've done things like a a, a, a a physical, like a corset, like a woman's corset, mm -hmm. you know, black and purple, um, just so many different interesting things. And I've been doing this for years. So, of course, my memory escapes me of all the things that I've done, to be quite honest with you. But the human heart cake is definitely one of the fan favorites. People love the money cake for some reason, where it's actual you know, I'll edible pay. money on the cake and around the cake. That is a mm -hmm. huge fan favorite. That's, that's the natives. That's the natives. Yeah, yeah I was the natives. Yeah. I was one of them. I was one of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, make it, I make it rain cake. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's natives. That's natives. Yeah. We, we know different cakes. Native cake. You know what I'm saying? We, we know <laughs> working class people that cake. Banana pudding you know? cake. Yeah, that's banana banana pudding cake. Cake. Yeah, yeah, well, she makes this banana pudding cake, bro. I don't know if you like banana pudding. Anybody likes banana pudding? Oh my God, that's the life changer. I call that the life changer. Derek, wow. does it keep you, Derek? Does it keep you on your toes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what made me come home with a pond cake right there. <laughs> okay, what is your what is your favorite cake? Ooh, good question. Mine. Yeah. In terms of flavor or design? No, design. I'm talking about that you like when you eat cake. What is your favorite? Somebody else's. Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah, I can imagine. Okay, let me explain to you why I say that. Because okay. I've been doing this a long time. I know, I know my cake is good. I know my cake is really good because I have recipes that are from my mother, and I have imported, you know, vanillas and and different things that I get from all over the world. So I know my stuff is good, but I'm used to my stuff. So when you know my best friend wants to bake me a cake, or my cousin wants to bake me a cake, or my sister that's the cake I love because it doesn't taste like my cake. Mm -hmm. You understand? Oh. 
So what is I the pressure for Derek for on your birthday? birthday? Derek, what are you on doing my on birthday, birthday with Facebook. Facebook. On Facebook, every year I go on Facebook for my birthday and I beg for somebody to bake me a cake. And it don't have to be fancy. They can literally go to, to the grocery store and get a box cake and some box icing and bake me a cake. But the fact that they would do it and put their love into it, I love that cake. There was a young, the only, a young girl who was a, was a young girl who made the cake for you one time. She made a young girl. She, daughter, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Tanisha's yeah. daughter, Jordan. When she was 10 years old, one of my yeah, clients, her daughter was like, Miss Norette is my cake lady. So for my birthday, her mom was like, Miss Norette needs a, wants a birthday cake. And Jordan was like, I'll make it. And they brought me the cake from Central Ice Lip. The little girl made me a birthday cake. The uh, best birthday cake. Wow. Wow. It, was, it, was awesome. it was awesome for a million reasons. But the coolest birthday cake I've ever had, I have to admit, was the one I made for my 40th birthday, and it was a pink KitchenAid mixer. Oh, that's wow. hot. That's hot. Did yeah. you own when an Easy thinking. Bake Oven at one point in your life? <laughs> I might have. I don't remember. That's, that's where everybody used to get their start at. The Easy Bake Oven was just a heat lamp or something, right? You guys remember the Easy Bake Oven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. throw down with the Easy Bake. Yeah, they used to throw down with that. Yo, listen, be honest with you. I wanted to be a baker. My father wouldn't let me go to school for that. When, I, when he was going to high school, I was going to go to Park West. You know, my father old school. Yeah. Old school still the man. So he thought I was going to be gay or something like that. So he's like, nah, my son ain't going there. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to keep it a book. No, real, real. That's, real. That's, that's real talk. My father yeah, said, nah, yeah. he's old you know, school. He's like, nah, you're not doing that. And yeah, now yeah. Look, look at the money I could have been making. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> no, you but know? D, your cakes would be all revolutionary and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make one cake. <laughs> <laughs> one cake with a black fist, right? <laughs> or, or a public enemy cake. <laughs> so so let me ask you this question, and I'll be, I'll be honest with you. If anybody runs a business, we still have to do business with the natives. So have, how has it been from the business side? We know you have the, the skill set. Is the business side, I, I'm sure a lot of people look at, the, at your business like every day is just happy, you're making cakes and everything. But the business side, how has that been dealing with the client base? You know what? My clients, for the most part, they're awesome because they trust me. Oh. Mm. And so, you know, they send me their vision and I would say half the time, I don't even have time, probably more than half the time. They're going to rent. This is what I want. I know you're going to bring me something fabulous. Most of the time. I do have the occasional pain in the butt who wants to try to micromanage me. But I've learned how to manage down and get them off me so I can do what I do. I'm like, you called me. And you got referred to me nine times out of ten. So it's because I know what I'm doing. I need you to let me do what I do. Right. But yeah. um, I love my clientele, and I'm thankful I have a mixed clientele. You know, it's not just quote unquote the natives. I have clientele from all walks of life, backgrounds, careers, degrees, non degrees, yeah. everything. Christo wow. Christopher McBride paid you a great compliment. He said your cakes are yummy and they're delicious. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate right. you. And Dana's in these comments too. She said, "Uh, chocolate cake and slap your mom. Let's slap somebody. Yeah, it will." You know, <laughs> this, this, all right, this is my last question to you. Um, how are you? And I think Nikki might have said this also. Do you, when you go to another place at a restaurant, you have someone else's cake? Do you, do you ever say like, "Oh hell no, this ain't it"? As a cake, okay, like a so cake. that happens to me often. You know, when I go places, and because people know I'm a cake maker, they're always watching me to see if I eat the cake. <laughs> 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 so even if it's terrible, I gotta be like, oh. This is nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think he's oh, actually a soprano actor who came through. All right, all right. Well, the soprano. I'm, 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 I tell you, I would never shade anybody. One thing that I'm really big on is helping others. And so I'm actually, you know, I'm thankful that I get to mentor other cake makers where they call me and ask me for advice. And I'm happy to share. You know, I don't give out recipes. So don't ask me that. But yeah. I'm happy to share about yeah. techniques and how I figured this out and where to get this particular thing. And, you know, so I, I do I do like that aspect of it, being able to mentor other cake, you know, interested no, no. cake makers, whether they're my age or younger. You, no, right. Where can people find you at? You guys can find me. I'm real easy to find. <laughs> you can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, at BellaLatinaCakes.com. You can text me directly at 516-429-9411. Um, I have business hours, 
So, you know, feel free to scan my pages and find out what my business hours are because that's when I respond. But wait but, a minute, um, we're, we're bearing the lead. What's the soprano actor story someone just asked about? Soprano uh, actor that came to your door, is that? Oh, yeah, I, I did a cake for one of the um, one of the guys that was on The Sopranos. I can't remember the gentleman's name because it's been probably close to 10 years ago now. But uh, yeah, he wanted, a, he wanted a chocolate raspberry cake. Wow. So yeah, I did, I did a cake nice. for very, him. Very, very nice. And he came to Thank you. himself. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Really? Wow. Thank you, thank you so much for coming on the show today, sister. We love you. I know Derek loves you. Thanks. And uh, you can... And you can do his feet later on today. That's the only way I know this brother got nice feet because you must be doing them on the low. You don't have to blow him up, blow him up on the show, but we know you're doing that work for him. You know what I'm saying? So, right, good, good genetics. Good genetics, brother. Good genetics. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sister. Good night. Thank you. Oh, man. Bye, bye, sister. Bye. Oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> Derek, we, we ain't going to live this down, Derek, man. We're going to get on oh, you. Calvin got a promotion. Calvin, you got a promotion. Just for a Kevin, second. Okay. They, they always yeah. give it to you. Take it right back. Yeah, you know? yeah. All right. but no, oh, I feel, I feel, no, 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 no. I, there's a rumor that Derek done had a foot transplant. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that, that done. That's what it is. Derek, Derek is wearing that white man's feet. <laughs> you know, let me tell you something. <laughs> you know your wife. You know your wife is good at making cakes when she get a soprano. Uh, actor from Sopranos and don't remember who he was to come to the door. Yeah, it was uh, uh, my, you, my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. That's when you when you know you good with yours. That was so, good. So, Rod, Rod, can you uh, can you lead us to our next uh, person in commercial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got our next um, um, entrepreneur who was coming along. She's a great friend of mine. Um, I love her personally. I think she's an awesome person. She makes beautiful head wraps, mask, and um. She is no, next, I, think, right? no, I think we're going to Lisa. No, we're going to Lisa. Lisa, no. Lisa. Okay, I'm sorry. Then I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm lost. Then I guess you got to do that then. Okay, so know. our next person is our sister Lisa, who actually did our, our photo shoots. I'm going to come back. Lisa I'm going to hold <laughs> I'm going to hold that thought. I'm going to come back with that one. Okay, all right. All right. But go ahead. Jamie, do we have a commercial, Sammy? Nice, nice, nice capturing the people, man. So, yeah. Sister Lisa, can we bring Lisa into the studio, Jamie? Hey, hey Lisa. Hey, Lisa, hey, Lisa what up? Yo, what up? What up? What up? You blowing up? What's going on, guys? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hanging, How you doing? hanging in there. Can't complain. Can't complain. Still doing yeah. COVID, capturing, catching moments. I see you catching moments. That camera you got there. Yeah, I tried. I um, I started my business February of this year. Um, I had been taking pictures forever, but I started my photography business about a month before COVID. And um, it was an interesting journey, put it that way. Um, I did about 40 families with the quarantine porch photos um, back in April, um, where I would you know, go to houses and use my telephoto lens and take um, pictures of people on their porches. And some people didn't have porches, but it was it was fine. Um, and um, that's where I started. I actually, right before COVID, I did my first maternity shoot. It was like February eighth. It was it was we were lucky here. It was about forty degrees that day, and um, I did a maternity two maternity shoots and. Um, then we got shut down. So um, I've been very fortunate to be able to um, 
photograph people. I did a lot of photographs for graduates, uh, kids that graduated um, 2020. I did many family um, family portraits. Um, and over the summer, when sports started to open back up, I was able to do league photography because that's one of the things I really wanted to get into. Um, so I was able to capture um, people who were actually playing because a lot of the sports in New York are shut down. So I was able to um, get a, a bunch of um, makeshift leagues and kids together and take some pictures. Lisa, um, let me let me ask one thing that, that people may not know about you, the brilliance, your brilliance is I've seen you um, like do a show, a shoot with four people. One of them would be a sex symbol and the other three would be all right. But you make everybody feel equal. How do you how do you do that? Like that? It's just amazing how you I, I, I've actually seen you do that. So how, how is that done? <laughs> Who, who's the sex symbol, Kelvin? Who's the sex well, symbol? Well, well, I don't want to like I don't want to leak information out. I just want her, you know, you know, we don't want to hurt nobody's feelings and stuff. <laughs> you guys were a lot of fun to take to take pictures of um, because you all have very different personalities. And what I like to do is I I like to um, see how you work together and see the different personalities. Um, a lot of times it's it's difficult, especially with family dynamics. Um, depending on what happens to be going on that day or whatever. But, you know, you just try and you, for me, you have to wing it. It's like, you know, I, I took pictures of a two-year-old and I think I must've did 200 shots and, you know, 170 of them were, were her backside running away. So, you know, I, I was exhausted that day. I was exhausted. I have to rethink my, my pool of what I want to take <laughs> pictures of, but two-year-olds I'm not too sure about, but, um, you know, I I like taking candid photos. I like taking um, photos of people in their element without really posing. Um, I enjoy those more than posed um, uh, photography. I think the pictures come out a lot better. Um, but, you know, with adults, it's a lot easier to take pictures because people follow instructions, you know, it's just, it's a lot easier. And right. and um, it's it's um, it's been a journey. Um, it's it's been a journey. Yeah. Lisa, how do you manage how do you manage expectations? You know, with clients, like you know, and what's your process like? You know, um, <laughs> yo, that, you know, that, that's my man in the back. He always going through. My man coming through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the <laughs> up. We never know what you're going to get. But how do you manage <laughs> expectations? You know what I mean? Because sometimes you may have a client that may just come in and say, "Hey, you know what I mean? Almost." want to take over your your, your your shoot almost, you know what I'm saying? Hey, get us over here and take us over here and, you know, that, that kind of thing. You know, how did you kind of manage that? And what's your process like when you kind of come in and, and, and you know, I guess communicate a vision to your clients? Like? Well, I had, I, it's funny, I had a client like that. I had an hour shoot with a family of five and, um, you know, the mom was like, oh, I want to I want to shoot over by here and I want to shoot over by here. And, you know, for, for me, it's it's more of a learning experience. So there are questions that I need to ask beforehand. You know. All children are different and a lot of children are on the spectrum, you know, but I'll figure that out 10 minutes into a shoot and then maybe I'll have the parent go. Oh, you know, my son is, you know, he's he's a little on the spectrum. Yeah, I, I know. I figured that out. But, you know, some people, I want to take a picture over here. Well, I can't take a picture there because you're in the sun. You you know, sun is not your friend when you're taking pictures. You know, so people are like, oh, I want to I want to know. Let, let's go over here. You know, and I, I will kindly lead people to where they need to go. Oh, I want to take a picture under that willow tree. Well, that willow tree is like. 300 yards away. I don't, uh, we, do you want me to get you or do you want me to get the tree? Because I, I'm not going to be able to do both. So, you know, I mean, I try to, I try to give people what they want. Um, and it's funny because sometimes they'll get their photo gallery and they'll be like, oh, what happened to the photos with us? Blah, blah. They just didn't come out right. I, you know, it's, you know, a lot of times it's funny. It's a, it's a crapshoot. You know, elements and and kids and and um, you know whether it's really sunny or it's really cloudy or you know taking pictures of you guys with your backs to the sun, you're all y'all are bald and it was shining off your heads and you know. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. You know, and I ha- and I had to huge too. <laughs> and I, you know, just have to you gotta sort of just play with the areas, you know. I I don't have my own personal studio. Um, that's one of my things I'm working towards next year is is being able to rent studio space where I can control the elements a lot better. Um, but where I'm at, there's not a lot of um, area. People don't have space for studios. Um, but that's something that I'm hoping to do. I also have a portable studio where I have, you know, I have backdrop and things in lighting and whatever. So I can I can bring that with me if, if that's necessary. Can I ask you a question? Can you um do a photo shoot for Derek's feet so he can be a foot model? <laughs> <laughs> We got, the power, got yeah. pretty, I got, we got it out. I got pretty feet. And, you look, and his so feet so pretty. There's some some just like Norris said. There's some stuff I'm just not going to do. <laughs> some we, stuff know, I'm not going to do. With all of the technology, with I guess the iPhone and all these people who I guess people feel that they're photographers. We, I, I, I'm sure we still need the photographer. And and explain to the people the, the difference between amateur photography and actually being under direction the direction of a professional photographer. The, you know, the, these phones that they've come out with are they're fan they're fabulous. To be honest with you, you know, you buy a thousand dollar phone, you, you, some cameras aren't even that expensive. You right. know, you can so you know there are people that will use their phone and, you know, want to take all kinds of, of photos, but you don't, you don't, you don't have the interaction of the photographer with the, with the client, right? So there are things that I may see in my client that they're not going to see behind their iPhone. I did a, I did a shoot on um, two Saturdays ago, people wanted to do Christmas cards and they wanted to do it outside their house. And the, the mom said to me, you know, my husband's tried it with the iPhone and the iPad and they came out, um, the iPhone and the tripod and they came out horrible, but don't tell them I said that. That's what happens. You know, it's, you, you can try. And sometimes people do really well, but you know, if you spend a half an hour with me, I'm gonna give you 25 photos that you're not going to be able to choose your favorite five from right. because that's that's just you know people people aren't necessarily aware of their surroundings and things that are around them and things that also make the picture you know so it's 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 like when i go to a shoot i like to get there early i like to i like to peruse the area see what types of trees are around you know now it's it's dead but you know in the spring and in the summer see what type of trees are around i don't want to get cars in the background it's it's you know it's it's Everybody doesn't do the detail um, that needs to be done when doing a photo shoot with your phone. Yeah, right, right. right. You know, it may be easier to get around with your phone, but you know, you're you're, you're you are limited to what you're going to be able to do on your phone. So, right. Lisa, how, how can people find you? My website is www.lifeinmotionphoto.com. Um, they can call me at 646-528-7779. Um, I'm looking for grad graduates. My, my new thing is doing graduate portraits. So if you have a graduate that's graduating in 2021 and they're an athlete or they're a musician or they're a dancer, um, I will do portraits of them in their elements, um, dressed up in their basketball, uniform in their tennis uniform or whatever their, you know, forte is with the guitar, their violin and make it packages um, reasonable for parents to to purchase. You do headshots and stuff too Thank for you. people that are trying to get into modeling and everything as well? I do. I will do headshots and I will do, we call those fashion shoots. And okay. um, those take a little more time, but it, it, it's definitely something that I do. And, and standard headshots for your LinkedIn, in your resume, um, those are quick and easy and um, easy to do. And shout out to anybody with some uh, possible studio space for next year. You know what I mean? Thank you. Right. Thank <laughs> you. Mr. Lisa, we want to thank you for coming on. Thank you for thank blessing you us. Thank you for, thank you for photoshopping my beauty. 
You know what I'm saying? So thank you for everything. Sister. You're welcome. You thank you. Happy holidays to you guys. You too. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Success. All, All right. right. Take care. Enjoy Bye-bye. the holidays. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. Look, girl, Lisa. Oh, Derek got so, a promotion. <laughs> so, so we're going to run to our next. This person been uh, giving us a lot of shine and, and, and sucking into our pocket with our commercials. So, uh, Jamie, can you play our next commercial? Yo, All I'm a right. new one. There I'm you a go, new baby. one, baby. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. There you go, D. What up, D? Yeah. <laughs> not the outfit crazy. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. listen. Yeah. Oh, I'm shining on them, baby. I'm shining on them out there. There you go, kid. There you, you know go. So our next guest is the creator and owner of Margo Priestley. Can we bring Miss Sally Priest into the studio to produce a jammy? Sally. Hey, Miss Sally, how you doing? Hey, guys. Hi. How's how everything? Are you? What's up? Great, great, great. See, you I'm matching you, D. I'm matching you today. Oh, okay. okay. We, out, we out in these streets. We in these streets out there. We got you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's how we do it out in these streets. So, good, so Miss Sally, what made you get into making head wraps and and now because of twenty uh because of COVID nineteen, you make the the face mask? What made you get into that? Yes, so I actually started um, Margot Priestley in 2018. Um, we started with just turbans and that was it. Um, my mother and I actually have the business together and I've always been a lover of fashion and style and cre- you know, being creative. And I wear a lot of like accessories and head wraps and scarves and hats. And I thought, wait a minute, I could make these. So we started making them. We started out just with a turban and it grew from there. So, and here we are two years later. Miss Sally, did your mom teach you how to sew? She did. That's what you learned? Yes. All right. How long, how long, how long have you wanted to sew? I'm sorry. What was that, Rod? No. How long has your mom's been sewing and how long have you been sewing too? Okay, so mom's been sewing since like 1970 or something. I have no idea. Oh. Forever. <laughs> Forever. Okay. <laughs> um, well, let me, I've been let... sewing for two years because she taught okay. me. So, yeah. And now sometimes I'm better than her. I'll just say that. We'll say that. Okay, Don't good, tell her I good, told good. You. Don't tell her I told you. Sorry, mom. I'm hoping that she's not watching, Miss Sally, because then she heard you. She probably I got it. I have to. <laughs> I, I think this is, you know, this is a double standard when, when it comes to men and women. Guys can go out and run to the store quickly and things like that. But women, the hair is always a consideration. And back in the day, some people would set us back and go out there with like a shower cap or something hey. like that. And just, you know, make sure we couldn't get anywhere as a people. But you have really helped us. And so I just want to say I appreciate it. But that that accessory is not always just for dressing up. Sometimes it may be just some casual ones as well. Is that right? Absolutely. So, you know, the collection we actually have out right now is called, called our, excuse me, our cozy collection because we're at home a lot. You know, we're on our Zooms. We're running to the grocery store. You know, we're running wherever we need to go. And sometimes we don't feel like getting all doctored up. So, yeah, you can just throw on a turban. You can throw on what I have on right now, which is called one of our stretchies, um, which is kind of like a headband. And you can just go. So they're very versatile. Um wear them all year round, all times throughout the day. We have customers who sleep in them. So it truly is a all day and all night affair with Margot Priestley. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Nice, nice looking nice, stuff. Nice. Yours looks great on you. And I Thank think you. it's because it looks great. You look great. I'm seeing one on my screen that looks great itself <laughs> with the model. You're gonna have to re- <laughs> you're gonna have to reassess that. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think you should. I think you should try one on, Calvin. <laughs> I noticed you got the uh, and I noticed you had the, uh, the nice mask there too. You know what I mean? You got uh, looks like you're doing some accessorizing with the mask as well. You know, that was good. There yeah, you go. And we started Talk about out, yeah, a little bit of background about the mask. So one of the things we started, you know, in April, um, we started making masks to kind of support with COVID. And initially, every dollar that went to a mask, um, or excuse me, every dollar from a mask sold 
went to kind of a fund to provide fresh fruits and vegetables for um, a, a family that was in need. So it really is kind oh, of like nice. a labor of love for us. Um, and of course, you know, our wonderful customers, they always want things that match and coordinate and go together. So it was mm. a natural progression to make a mask that actually, you know, matches our um, head wraps or our turbans. Um, in addition to that, too, for those who don't wear, let's say they don't like things on their head, we also now have earrings. These are nice, nice things. Nice. So we have earrings, nice. we have headbands, we have pins and brooches. So we have a full assortment um, that can really, you know, add a little something, a little pizzazz to your outfit. Well, let me, let me ask you this. A lot of people, the hard thing about this is the fun part. What about the business part? Is the business part a challenge just trying to deal with, I don't want to say it, but the natives Maybe. and also just trying to just deal with the general public is always a, a challenge. So how's that been for you? You know, I have to say our customers are, I, I like to call them kind of like our family members and our Margot Priestley, you know, people, they've actually been really amazing and supportive. And, you know, every now and then we get a little something that may be a little off. But for the most part, I mean, I really have to say our customers are everything. Um, everything we do is for them and they give us so much love and support. You know, um, the business aspect is, you know, being an entrepreneur, or business owner is definitely every day is different. So, you know, and most people know this out there. One day you may get, you know, you may sell $50. The next day you may sell $1,000. The next day you may not sell anything. So, you know, just riding those waves. But for the most part, you know, our support team has been truly wonderful. And we truly think that, like, you know, Margot Priestley is well received out there. So I'm just incredibly blessed and grateful. Okay, this last one for me. Last one for me. Really, really okay. quickly. Well, last one. Give me one celebrity you'd like to see wearing it. Just one. If you could pick just one. Okay, so Kelvin, I may actually, I watch this show, so I may have to steal her from you. Uh -oh. I don't know, she may she like go. me more than she may like you. <laughs> say. I'd love That's to see right. it. And I believe it's going to happen. You and I have to coordinate. We got to work that out because I want to be okay. one to give it to her. But we, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sally, I, I want to pay That's you a right. compliment as a businesswoman because, you know, during this COVID thing, a lot of businesses have not been able to adjust. You've been able to create new items that still kept your business running, the mask and stuff like that. You, you've been able to articulate to your clients that, listen, this is on the get up and go, even if you're just going out to the supermarket. And I respect that mindset as a woman, as a businesswoman. I, I like that. Keep keep doing your thing, girl. Thank you. Thank you. And she got great pa packaging is off the hook. <laughs> her packaging is off the hook, yeah. Her packaging is off the hook. Can I say one thing quickly about the mask as well? Um, one thing that's really important to look at, just note out there with your mask, if you can blow out a candle or a flame or something through your mask, it is not working for you. Our masks are three layers. They have a non-porous, non-woven filter. Um, they're very comfortable. They have toggles. They're adjustable. So, you know, we, we, we love what we do, but we also ensure that we put out a really great product. Um, really great, you know, quality um, because there are things I wear and that I love. And this is, you know, a labor of love. And one thing to point out as well is, you know, we mentioned, you know, that we sew all of our headpieces. They're all made by hand. All these pearls, the pearls that you see that D has on, um, I, I literally make, do them, put them on one by one. So, you know, that you're just getting a quality product made with love from Margot Priestley. Awesome. That's right. Good, good, Thank you. Good, Masali, good, how can good, people good. find you, Masali? Yes. So we on Instagram um, and our website, that's at, you know, IG Margo Priestley. That's M-A-R-G-E-A-U-X Priestley. Um, and the one thing that we've done, because we just love your show so much, we're giving everyone that comes from this show and places an order 10% off on your first order by using the code Chop It Up. Wow. Going on? This is what I'm trying to tell you. This is an excellent <laughs> businesswoman, a good business mind. I like that. Yeah. Thank Look, you Masala, all. we all love you, sister. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you, thank you for coming thank on. You. Appreciate yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep up the great work. You have an awesome show.
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.